Today's iPad app review is on VideoCrop. VideoCrop is an app for the iPad or iPhone that can be found in the App Store, and it's free. Um, I would pay $10 for this app if they charged it. This app is worth its weight in gold. Um, I use this quite often in my videos, and what you can do is take your uh, raw footage, trim it down to a uh, to zoom in on the areas that you want to draw attention to in your videos without losing the uh, ratios and the crisp and clearness. Um, very well done app, and for the price, it's just hard to beat. I've used a couple, and they don't compare nowhere close to this. Um, this gives you some of the description, shows you how the... Uh, app transfers and if you go here to the developers website it's kind of thin um, they don't give you a whole lot um, I guess you can contact them if you do have issues I um, looked at the uh, ratings and everybody gave it a good rating except for one guy and I think he's just an idiot didn't know how to use it so uh, let's get into the app and uh, show you how it works here when you first come into the app it shows you your uh, it'll ask you to sync to your Photos and videos, and you can see here it shows you a menu of everything. And this is the settings menu. Let you change uh, the order of which the previews are shown. You can go from MPEG to QuickTime, back to MPEG. I leave it on MPEG. Um, always keep it on the highest quality so you don't lose any of your data. And it's just a really good, easy app to use. Uh, also has a built-in camera that you can do your own recording. Um, record your own video right in the app itself and use it. I don't normally do that. I use a Filmic Pro to do my recording. And if you see here, I've got a long clip that shows uh, my daughter running in the snow. And I just I have a lot of extra footage there I don't really want to be seen. Um, I like to get in a little better, a little closer view to her. Uh, if you go into the the settings, it shows uh, custom. 16 by 9, 3 by 2, 4 by 3, and so on. What you do with custom, you can set any of the parameters to any size. Um, there's no set feature, so you can pull the corners in, pull the sides in, pull the bottom in, and you can just set your own custom settings. Now with this, I found it hard to get an exact uh, cropping ratio, uh, a little difficult, especially for the stuff I do on the iPad. So I try to keep mine on 16 by 9 and that way when I move, no matter what I move, which handle I grab, the ratio stays 16 by 9 everywhere. And it's just easier for me to crop out things I don't need. And you can see I can go through here and show you the different crop settings. But I like to leave it on 16 by 9 I'll adjust it out. Like I said, it keeps the ratio as you move it. It also has a preview button. So you can see once you've made your crop selection, you can preview it before you actually make the crop and see if it's going to fit in your needs for your film. It does, uh, it does a really good job. Really good job. And you can see the timeline bar at the top. You can track in and out um, different, different places on your timeline. And all you do is hit crop, and it will start cropping. And once it does this, it saves it into your camera roll. Um, so that you can go back to your camera roll and you have the footage there of the cropped picture. It does not delete your other video. It only takes this portion and saves a new video from that. So you don't lose your other video. Some of the others I've used have erased my other, my original video and I had, had a hard time going back and finding uh, things to fix. But this is a really, really good app. I love it. Like I said, I'll show you here, and I saves it to my camera roll to the newest, and there's my video. I'll hit play, and I'll show you just it's, it just maintains all the data, just really crisp and clear. Everything that I had on there is now zoomed in, focused in on the subject, and without losing any quality. Very good app. I recommend this app tenfold to anybody wanting to do video.